I'm surviving 24 hours of Madden Ultimate Team, starting with a brand new account. With only 24 hours to work with, it's crucial that we use every second to our advantage. So we start with some welcome packs to the new account. Don't really pull anything that'll help us too much, and then hop into a few solo challenges. Thankfully, we'll be leveling up along the way, which also gives us competitive pass rewards, it gives us regular pass rewards, and it gives us promo pass rewards. So I start by unlocking 590 overall cards that we can upgrade to 96 overall through the Asian American and Pacific Islander promo. Now this is going to amount to be grinding a lot of solo challenges throughout this 24 hours. There aren't many coin making methods in this game anymore besides glitches that have happened throughout the year. So leveling up, doing solo challenges, and finding ways to buy cards at the cheapest rate possible is how we're going to complete our challenge of a 95 overall by the end of this video. Just two hours in, we move to our mission Mutt Solos, and I'm able to pick a captain who we go with Reggie Gilliam because fullbacks tend to be a bit more expensive. Then it's time to move on to the Team of the Year Solos. Once completing the Team of the Year Solos, we'll get a free Team of the Year card. These ones are going to take several hours to grind out, so that's what I get to work on. We got our 98 overall BND Team of the Year Fantasy Pack. We've also got a few packs to open here as well. From the Field Pass, from Rewards, from the Solos, from all this stuff that we've been doing. Starting with the 92 plus overall Backyard Ballers Pack. Come on, give me something like a 95. 97 Grant Delpit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Game day pack here is we can get a bunch of anything in this one. 87 Night Train Lane. Gonna open up our 98 overall BND Team of the Year Fantasy Pack. I think we get any of these cards. Any of these cards. I need a position of depth. We're going to go with cornerback 98 overall Sauce Gardner. Also got an elite pack here. We're going to open this one up. Starting with a legend player. It's going to be 89 Ken Norton. We can add all these guys to our team or we can just go ahead and sell all of them. I haven't decided what I want to do quite yet. And then we've got a 90 plus overall combine pack. So let's see what we go ahead and pull here. This is going to be a fantasy pick. So we can get a 90 left guard or we can get a 90 right end. I guess we'll go with the left guard. We can go ahead and sell him for 20,000. We can get 230k for his card. That is just hot. I'm going to go ahead and generate our best lineup that we possibly can here and see what we end up with. An 83 overall. We're not quite there yet. We still got some work to do. Now at this point, I actually had to take a small break because I had some meetings. I had to get food. I wasn't able to play continuously for 24 hours, which makes this challenge that much more interesting because the time that we're actually on the game console playing the actual game is going to matter even that much more. That 97 overall sold. So now we've got a good stack of coins. We're going to get all our team of the year collectibles from these team of the week challenges to redeem for a full team of the year player, which is going to be able to be sold. So that's the, the move right now. It's going to take a lot of grinding, but back to it, I go. So I started on the team of the week solos, but I also realized I didn't get all the stars needed for the challenges to turn our Asian Pacific players to a 96 overall version of those cards. So I went through and grinded through those challenges as well. And with about 18 hours left, we we're able to unlock the full versions of those cards. And just like that, we're up to an 85 overall. We're starting to cook, but we still got a lot of work to do. I'm six hours into this challenge and I'm starting to, to feel it, man. I'm really getting sick of playing Madden. I grinded out the rest of those solos for about another hour until we were just over 17 hours remaining in our challenge and ready to open up our packs. We completed all our team of the week challenges here. So let's go ahead and open up the several packs that we have. We're gonna take whatever card's most expensive. We are definitely selling this. Looks like use check is the most expensive card here. So let's go ahead and post him for like 500K. Maybe we can get him to sell. If not, we'll post him for a little lower. But from those challenges, we have 20 unopened packs here to open. These are all the team of the week. I'll save you on the rest of these. There's pretty much all BND players that do just about nothing for us. So I sold a lot of them for training. But I also got one pack that was auctionable that did come in clutch. So this is good. A player of the week fantasy pack. We get any of these players of the week and they're all sellable. So we pulled a 96 George Kittle out of the first one. And then some 93s after that. We're obviously going to take Kittle here. Say less. We're going to post him for the 160 that it says he's selling for and maybe we'll be able to cash out on that. That's actually a really big pull for us. I really wasn't even paying that much attention. After generating best lineup, we're up to an 88 overall, well on our way towards that 95 overall goal. Now, if we do all these ultimate legend solos, not only do we get an 87 plus player, but we're going to get a bunch of tokens in these loyalty token packs, which we can use to redeem and get ourselves a full ultimate legend that we can also sell that goes for a lot of coins. So, so I got back to grinding and as you can see, I was just having so much fun.
just so much fun. Anyways, I backed out at about the halfway point to see how many tokens we have and realized we could upgrade our John Madden card because we were accumulating sacks with him in our lineup. We're going to be able to get John Madden up to, I think, a 95 overall, which is pretty good as a defensive tackle. So I opened up the tokens that we had. Also, an elite pack didn't get anything out of that. And then I had to take a break to go eat some dinner. And when I got back, I came back to a very pleasant surprise. And I came back to our card selling. That's great. This is going to put us close to a million coins, and we've only got 12 hours left. So I ended up completing a Leon Sandcastle set, but I want to wait till the morning to complete the rest of the sets and upgrades for our team when there's a lot more activity on the auction house. And so cards will hopefully be a little bit cheaper. But in doing so, we got three offensive linemen to add to our team, and we sold back Leon Sandcastle to drastically cut down on the cost of those three BND 95s. We'll generate our best lineup here, and we're up to a 90 overall with those boys. Let's go, and our offensive line is cooking right now. I'm going to complete the other tokens that I still need from these Ultimate Legend solos. Go down some of these weeks, grind them out for the next few hours. We're going to go to bed, and when I wake up tomorrow morning with our last hour or so left, we'll be building out and buying a bunch of players to add to our team and really round out our overall before we end this challenge. So I spent a few more hours completing those solo challenges, opening up the rest of our tokens, and we finally had all the tokens we needed to redeem our set. Finally, I have 125 of these tokens. It's taken what feels like forever, even though I have 10 hours left in this challenge. Whatever one we can sell for the most. Bro, Larry Fitzgerald's literally selling for a million coins. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're going with Larry Fitz, dude. And I'm going to post him to the block and hope he sells by tomorrow morning. Oh my gosh, that is so many coins from one card. Holy crap, that's a huge pull and I'm down playing. I'm so excited. I don't even... What a way to go to bed, dude. Came back on to see that our million coin Sherman had sold. I didn't even fathom last night. I was so tired how much that actually was. We've got a ton of coins to work with, and we're already in 90 overall. It's time to start buying some players and really upgrading this team. We're going to end up building this 99 overall NFL Draft Champions pack and selling back the main cards. We'll get three free 97 overalls. We ended up dropping over 600,000 coins on these three players, but we got three 97 overalls, a cornerback, a tight end, and a right outside linebacker, and then pulled DK Metcalf who we sold back for almost 600,000 coins, way offsetting the cost of those 397s. And after putting all three of our new cards in the lineup by hitting generate best lineup here, our team's gonna be at a 92 overall. We still got some progress to be made. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the backyard ballos promo and it looks like Harold Carmichael's most expensive right now. So we'll go ahead and build him. Just buy these cards about 210,000 each, same price as the other ones and get 397s in return. I still need a left tackle. So I'm definitely gonna go with Ionitis at left tackle. Now Delpit's route running is not great, but we're gonna end up going with him for number two. And believe it or not, we're going to go with McManus at strong safety because I can't resist a kicker at my strong safety. That is just absurd. And he's posted right now for about 616,000. So we'll post him for like 599 and hope that he sells in time as well. Now with the Sugar Rush promo, we can get 496 overall players and we can sell back Kayvon Thibodeau for about 500k. I'm going to go ahead and buy four of these cards for 150 each. I think we're going to be just under, unfortunately. So we need one of those cards to sell to be able to complete this. But we can't afford the last one. So my hands are kind of tied until that card sells at this point. The pressure's on, baby because we need these 496s. I ended up reposting DK Metcalf for a little bit cheaper, and thankfully, he ended up selling in time. My one last player for 173. We ended up posting Kayvon Thibodeau for just over 500k and picked up a left outside linebacker, left end kicker, and corner. Yes, and our other card just sold. We've got like a million coins to work with, literally as I was backing out. Looks like this Jeremy Chin is still selling for a lot, so we can buy three and get three 96 overall Mission Mutt heroes. So we'll go ahead and buy three of these 96s. I'm not loving the options for us, I'll be honest. There's not a safety like I was hoping there would be. But we gotta go with the linebacker. Let's go with Gerard Davis. Go with Chase Claypool and Kobe Bryant, not the basketball player. Now we can post Jeremy Chin here for about 500k. With all the coins we had left and still a little bit of time, I wanted to pick up two players, so we ended up buying King Henry, the 96 overall running back, and Nasir Adderley, the 97 overall free safe. Even though our coin count is low, we still have two cards posted to the auction. Money. Generate best lineup, and we have a 96 overall team but still a lot of coins coming our way to spare. And I'm also going to stream with this team. So make sure you guys are subscribed for that one. I can't wait to take this series through the summer.